Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Hello everyone. In this project I'm using an ESP32 to track the position of the sun using a pan and tilt servo operated gimbal, which are freely available. Here's the unit running. Speed it up so that we don't have to wait um, eight hours for sunrise to sunset at my current location. It's approaching midday now, so it's coming up to 90 degrees, 0 to 180 now. So you'll see the elevation start to fall away again as the sun starts to set. And eventually it will stop at the sunset position. So the sun is now at the horizon and there it is finished. In terms of equipment, you need an ESP development board or an ESP32 board and a gimbal. Note that you can get the gimbals with a little camera fitted as well. And I've put the links to the hardware and the code in the video description. These are the connections. I think they're fairly straightforward. Um, 5 volts and ground for the servos and pin 2 for azimuth and pin 5 for elevation they go to the orange cables on the servos. In terms of setting up the elevation servo it's um, a little bit of mechanical alignment but to make sure that it's at 145. Why 145? Because it's half of the total servo travel which is 0.7 milliseconds through to 2.2 milliseconds. So half of that is 145. 145 will give you a 40 will give you a vertical alignment and zero will give you a horizontal alignment. Similarly on the uh, azimuth servo setup it will travel approximately 180 degrees or from 70 to 220 and uh, again at 145 is when it's at ostensibly 90 degrees of azimuth, i.e. pointing to midday sun. In terms of code setup, enter your Wi-Fi, SSID and password so you can get current date and time, your latitude and longitude, your time zone. Note that the time must never be in uh, daylight savings so I've set GMT zero so it's always in GMT for my location. Um, if you don't do that, your positional accuracy be out by one or two or however many hours on you are on daylight saving. So that was the project. It's using ESP32 to calculate sun position using latitude, longitude and date time. It uses the NOAA formulas which are freely available from their web page. It's an example of using servos to control positional activity up, down, left, right. Uh, you can add a camera if you wanted to track the sun for a particular science project or you could use it to get maximum output from a solar panel or you could use it to keep a plant aligned to the sun during the day. That's not an unusual application. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 